Here we have for sale our 2014 on a 64 plate Ford Transit Connect. This is the 200, which means it's got a two ton gross vehicle weight. This is the 1.6 TDCI 75 brake horsepower diesel manual van. What we're going to do in this video is have a little walk around. I'll show you the spec that you get on a Connect of this age and a couple of little bits and bobs which have been added to this particular van and we'll also talk you through a little bit about the condition service history etc as well seeing as it is currently available for sale at the time of recording this video so first thing to mention there is no VAT on this particular van big benefit for any non VAT registered individuals or companies uh, where who they you know can't claim the VAT back well, the good thing with this one, you've got no VAT to pay. So good saving there. Another thing to mention um, straight away is that this is originally a white van, uh, which I will show you in a second with the door shuts and things, that has been painted yellow. So as I say, that's uh, again, something to note straight away. Right, looking at the rear of the vehicle, we can see that we've got rear barn doors on this particular example. What I mean by that are doors which open in that particular fashion. Also looking at here at the rear of the vehicle, we can see that we've got rear parking sensors there nicely integrated into the rear bumper. Also, as we're here at the back, you can actually see that we've got three very nice Vanguard uh, roof racks, uh, roof bars, should I say, uh, and you've also got the upstands on there as well, which are fantastic if you're going to be loading a ladder on there to tie the ladder to. If we open up the rear barn doors, we can have a look then inside the cab. And as we open up the uh, rear doors, this is where it becomes apparent that, as I say, this was previously a white van, um, whereas, as I say, this is how it would have been originally, and then, as I say, by a previous company owner. Uh, as I say, they've had it uh, painted yellow. So, opening up these rear bundles, you've got this little yellow uh, button just here. If you push on that button, you can then open the door right out then to its 180 degree position. Of course, they will just lock in place as standard at 90 degrees. And as I say, you can do exactly the same with both doors there, opening them right out to 180 degrees. And then that gives you maximum accessibility into the back of the van. And then having a look in the back, we can have a look at the condition here in the rear. So you can see that we've got ply lining in the back of here, protecting these panels here from any outward dents uh, caused by cargo flying around. It is ply lined on the floor, and you can see the previous owner has put this uh, sort of foamy style, uh, almost like gym flooring in the back of here. Um, which, as I say, I think is really good. It probably deadens uh, a lot of the sound. And as I say, if you are going to be uh, going into here, maybe on your knees, uh, makes it a lot uh, more comfortable for you as well. You have got uh, an interior light in the back of you. And of course, you've got the factory fitted bulkhead, which is in good condition actually on this particular example. Of course, that can be removed if you so wanted to. Um, as I say, that is uh, easily done. Uh, they just bolted in around the outside. Closing the rear barn doors then and continuing around the van, looking then down the driver's side of the vehicle. We can use the reflections here that we've got available to have a look at, as I say, the condition here, look for any dents or ripples or anything like that. There is a small uh, dent just here. So if you can just see that in the reflection just here, but a very small uh, dent just there. And just in front of the fuel filler cap, just there as well, is a couple of very small little marks just there also. Otherwise, that's all looking in really good order there down the driver's side. You can see this one has got actually the trend wheel trims fitted to it as well, which I do think set it off really, really nicely. This is actually our company colours, the yellow, so I was quite tempted to keep this as uh, one of our company vans i must say maybe we will who knows but anyway moving into the uh, driver's door then on top of the driver's door we've got the uh, electric windows on here we can see that we've got two uh, keys of the vehicle we've got one full remote key and one non-remote spare key uh, we've also then got the multi-functioning steering wheel so on the right hand side you've got the uh, radio controls here and then on the left hand side you've got the onboard computer. If I uh, put turn the ignition on I can actually start the van up here. So starting the van, pressing the OK button there 
you can see the mileage just there, 78,984 miles, and it's all running and idling correctly, no issues starting the van or anything like that then, all absolutely spot on. Looking at the driver's seat, all in very good condition here, there's no rips, tears, cigarette burns, anything like that on the seats, they're all very, very nice. Moving inside, we've got, of course, the radio here. This is where you can connect your phone to this via uh, Bluetooth if you want to. You've got an AUX, uh, uh, sorry, a USB port there as well. And then just on top of the dashboard, there's a little button just under here. If you push on that, you can then open that up. That gives you a bit of extra storage. And there's also a 12-volt socket in there as well. There's another 12-volt socket just down here. Also, five-speed manual gearbox to go along with that 70 uh, five brake horsepower engine and then you've got an AUX port back there as well I say all in really really nice order in the cab I've also then got some service history here which I'd like to show you so most recently serviced at 73,390 miles so just over 5,000 miles ago and there is actually uh, a bill there for that so it's a full service uh, fit new front brake discs and brake pads and we have actually uh, also done rear discs and pads on this vehicle when it came in because they needed doing when it arrived uh, Also in the service book, we've got some further services here. It looks like this has been done every uh, every two years So one in 2016 one in 2018 as I say then another one in 2020 which is on the other page So always nice to see some service history with any van that you're buying Moving out of the vehicle then and then continuing around to the front I say we can keep looking at the condition just here moving around the front all looking very very nice indeed if there's any marks or anything like that of course i will point them out to you there's a couple of very minor stone chips here on the bonnet but i mean we are talking very very minor something as small as that otherwise it is looking very very nice also with the front bumper there's no excessive scuffs or anything there again all looking in very presentable condition as well and then looking down the passenger side of the vehicle finally as well again good to use those reflections there anything that we can see uh, you know any dents ripples anything like that but I've got to say it's all looking very very nice there is the smallest little pin dent there in the side loading door I don't know if I can even show you that it's so small but I just noticed that uh, otherwise all Looking really smart there. We can open up the side loading door as well. Nice to have a side loading door on a small van like this. And that gives you another aspect then of the load area, also the side loading, uh, also the, the bulkhead and the flooring in there as well. So just to summarize, this is a Novat Ford Transit Connect 200. That means, as I say, you've got the two ton gross vehicle weight. 1.6 TDCI engine with 75 brick horsepower, incredible. Uh, economy figures on these vans you'd be talking in the 50s um, miles per gallon wise it's the short wheelbase and as i say we've got a spec of things like parking sensors you've got the roof bars and as i say this is a originally a white van which has been painted yellow as i say probably just to match the company uh, colors of the uh, you know maybe previous company owner but condition wise all in really really nice order and we have got that nice service history as well to go with it priced very competitively and of course taking the color change into consideration as well as a this is priced very competitively considering there is no VAT to pay if you'd like to inquire please feel free to give us a call on either of the numbers listed there at the bottom of the sign we can arrange finance on all of our vehicles including this one starting as low as 7.9 percent uh, APR. We can also take cars or vans in part exchange as well so feel free to give us a call with anything like that that you may have uh, to offer and we'll give you a, a good fair price on the vehicle. We can do all of that over the phone and email as well so feel free to get in touch. Thank you very much for watching.